What is going on fellow outlaws and welcome back to another elite players training. We're going to be breaking down all animation and different types of shots that you have in every single situation. Here's what's coming up in today's show. Now, before we get into it, thank you very much to everyone that's left feedback on the last couple of videos. We will be answering all questions in today's show, but first of all, let's get into some training. The first category is called in-depth animation training. Now, as you can see, I wanna run up on my opponent here. As most of you guys are aware, we play the RNG style, so we're always pushing forwards now as you can see here i haven't taken any health cure or anything like that so the first thing i need to do is i need to circle around i need to keep my head down to ensure that no one's shooting on me this gives me time to take the tonic i'm in a pretty good position and then what i want to do is i want to come straight back out again making sure i have the correct weapon for the type of attack i want to inflict now if you look at the facts guys if i run directly out towards my opponent he's going to see me coming he's going to fire on me that's not what i want to happen especially having these sort of shotguns so what i need to do is make sure i'm within range he's trying to create some space so i can't run up on him he's an experienced player so as you can see i make my way over to the crates where he's backed up so far to give himself some room he's given away the advantage of having the crates as you can see when i'm ready i come straight out i fire on him and because i have the natural side of the crates he doesn't know when i'm going to come out and he's not ready or prepared now the right hand side of every single object we call the natural angle because you don't have to switch your camera vision on the left hand side it's a lot more unorthodox because you actually have to do something to create the angle Okay, the next trick I'm going to show you is taken from the video how to perfect a face shot. Now what we're going to do is we're going to combine this with animation so you dudes can perfect this shot. Now the player in this situation is Venus BDS and I'm going to be putting emphasis on the fact that there's nothing he's actually doing wrong here. He's performing the correct move in the correct situation. Now the drill that people usually perform here is going from left to right and then the first person that aims is the first person that loses because they're about to be counter hit. The reason being is when you aim on your opponent you're in a locked position. Remember when you aim on an opponent and they're moving from left to right you have to angle the shot that's going to take you more time and in this time you're going to be countered the second they decide to aim on you. Now players from CVC will use this shot as a counter move but when you're in a showdown you're all wearing never without one. Now Venus BDS is a top tier general an absolute elite level player and I'm going to show you guys why. If you watch when I aim at him, watch how fast his reflexes are in trying to counter shot me. It's ruthless. So the second I touch the trigger, he's already waiting to headshot me. So the question being is why would I want to actually aim on this player when I know he's about to headshot me? And that's the trick. I know he's about to counter shot me and that's exactly what I want him to do. If you look at where my trigger is actually positioned, I know I'm gonna swoop across to his face. When in that same period of time, he's gonna shoot my hat. And remember, we're both using hat cards. 
the odds of him hitting me accurately in the face within a split second is reasonably low. This is why it's more of a CVC counter shot rather than a showdown move. So I'm getting someone that I know is gonna shoot me seriously fast and he's doing it based upon my animation. If he sees me aiming on him, he's gonna try and whip my head off within a split second. But within that period of time, I'm gonna be swooping back across the face. It's gonna be a double hit, but I'm gonna get the kill. He's gonna get the hat. Does that make you feel any anger? Huh, fatty? Jelly belly? Now, if you are new to the channel, please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is what we do on the channel. We help players progress to where they wanna be. All the advice and information that you find on this channel is absolutely free. Any players that just wanna learn something to be sinister or to grief other players or anything like that, you will just be ignored. We help to teach and correct people's gameplay. We're not here to take on 50,000 one-on-one requests because it's not gonna happen. If you are chosen to come and play in one of the private sessions that we do, don't hesitate, come in a session, see what we're about and follow the drill that we practice. Now the next category that we're moving on to I like to call the curse of the standard FPS. Now everybody knows that when you're in the crouch position when you're using standard FPS what tends to happen from time to time is you come to a complete standstill. Now there's a few reasons why this happens one of the most popular ones is that people are pressing so many different buttons they're pushing in the L3 button at the same time and they come to a standstill. Another one is being in the crouch position and aiming your weapon, touching an object, it brings you to a complete standstill. Now, instead of understanding all the reasons why this might be happening, it's also equally as beneficial to being able to do something about it there and then. Now, if nobody's around you, it's simple, just push in the L3 button and you'll start running again. However, if an opponent has you lined up and you come to a standstill and you try just to run again, you're blatantly gonna get shot. So you've guessed it, this category is called Fight Like Crab. If everybody goes into a legendary bounty, something that you can keep restarting, try to go through the entire bounty walking slowly in the crouch position and see how you can handle it. In future, when you're using standard FPS, coming to a standstill won't feel bad in the slightest. It will just feel like another style. Now you can only work with what you know and what I know is that I needed to create a better angle into defeating my opponent instead of just standing where I was. Knowing that I had to move my head around while coming to a standstill stopped me from being headshotted but you cannot stay in that position for a long time with other players on the battlefield. You have to create an angle, take the shot and move forwards. Now, big shout out to everyone that's been playing within our crew, everyone that's taken part in the box fights, the CVCs and the shootouts. So massive shout out to Joe, Damon, Nikki and Murphy. <laughs> Now, we're just gonna take a quick second to look at a couple of cheaters. These people think it's wise to defy the logic of the game and claim themselves a victory. Now guys, I have a special treat for absolutely everyone in the community. We're talking about the king of the lag switches. This individual thus far has been able to get away with booting players out of the session 
and it's not just about booting and lag switching it's that general toxic behavior that we talk about day in and day out everyone put your hands together this is the biggest cheat in the history of red dead online i give you Jin, aka athena coach now on behalf of the entire red dead community i would just like to say nobody likes you listen if you want to hack someone my account's open come and hack me and watch what happens and by the time i'm done with you you'll be living in a shed with both of your parents now when members of the community mention your name the first thing that springs to my mind is the word fraggle <laughs> now all outlaws from around the world before we move on to more cheaters and some more training there's one posse in particular that we need to discuss now here at destiny shoots we try to stay away from any arguments going on behind the scenes and we try to keep things strictly towards gameplay now in these rare occurrences someone has to stand up for what's right now if any of you dudes are under the age of 18 you might want to switch off now because what's coming up is not pretty now what you're going to be seeing in the background is a lot of things being exchanged between two posses one of them being the cold outlaws society now this is the type of behavior that we don't condone now destiny shoots won't be disclosing any names any real names or anything like that just the gamer tags now the reason for this is we don't believe in going after people on a personal level because it's absolutely ridiculous and two wrongs don't make a right now to cut a long story short what you're seeing in the background is the cold outlaw society going after another posse on a private and personal level pictures have been hacked and taken down and shared of people's family members including their partners now can you imagine over a game that people would take it to a level to hack and abuse your partners and your families now once upon a time we used to think that cold were okay we used to cvc with cold in fact we showed them how to corner paint so they didn't get farmed for XP. This here is disappointing and quite frankly I would urge every single player and posse to stay well clear of these individuals. This is the same posse leader that tried to advise one of my team members on how to hack somebody's Xbox. The warning signs were there. So stay away from him, stay away from Frey Anthony who is also hacking and freezing people out the game. And the last thing, the Cold Outlaw Society actually threatened the posse that they've been abusing that if they go to anybody, if they show any of this to anybody that they're gonna sue them. If you wanna associate with these guys, it's down to you some lovely work there from L's fending off and off radar oh it looks like another brave off radar on top definitely <laughs> wow it's like getting hit suddenly by a bus you know when you're walking along minding your own business something hits you out of nowhere Remember dudes, if you come across any of these players in game and you've seen them or recognized them from the channel and they're clearly cheating, the best thing to do is stay away from these players. They're not only not going anywhere in this game, but they're not going anywhere in their real lives as well. I mean, let's do the math. If you have to cheat in a game to get satisfaction, then what are you willing to also do in your own life to get satisfaction? Now, massive shout out to some of you guys that have sent the clips, Django Ray, L's, John from Canada. Yeah, I'm talking about you, John. Fantastic work. I slash the crew down at TSB. Fantastic work. But quite frankly, the list goes on and on. If you dudes do send any clips and you want to shout out, please let me know. It's not always safe to just shout people out because sometimes people do get repercussions for doing so. Now, if any of the clips that you guys have sent have not made it in any of the videos, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not going to make it. Sometimes if it's just one clip and someone's teleporting, it cannot be proven that they're cheating. Off Radar speaks for itself. If you're looking for someone that is lag switching nine times out of ten, the player will freeze in one fixed position and they will not move for at least a second to another position. And by then you're already 
dead. Remember, if you're to identify someone is using Cronus, you can take it directly from their gameplay. When you're looking at the Cronus animation, we made it very clear in the last video what that looks like. It can be repeated on a modded control pad, i.e. it's a control pad that's been modified. Now for some of you dudes that are interested in reading animation and becoming a better player in that respect, um, you can check out different showdowns that I've actually played in. You'll see that I'm using the exact same method every time. In this last piece of gameplay, same drill. I've come out from behind the rock. My weapon choice is already ready to go. As you can see, I'm fighting reactively. I can see my opponent's animation quite clearly and I'm responding to him having an advantage. This dude is not showing that he is a threat to me at all. So you can see my only reaction to him is just to kill him. This is why it's good to see gameplay clips where people are killing multiple opponents good players bad players but they're also reacting to what they're seeing that's going to be it for this one guys please do remember to like share and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video